We've already covered Grand Theft Auto V's impressive attention to the little things that make the world feel alive and compel players to explore, but this incredible level of detail has another benefit as well. It allows the team at Rockstar North to slyly slip in Easter eggs referencing dozens of real-world movies, games, and TV shows, make subtle nods to their own previous works, and even incorporate the supernatural. The world of Grand Theft Auto V is so huge that despite over 10 million players putting in hundreds of millions of hours, new Easter eggs are still being discovered or being investigated. Like this one that seems to allude to a jetpack that can be obtained. That said, here's 29 fantastic GTA V secrets and Easter eggs that we've found, and we can't wait to find more. The Special and Collector's Edition of Grand Theft Auto V comes with a map that has a bunch of messages hidden on it. Once exposed to a black light, you can easily see them. During the mission Hood Safari, you go to Grove Street, an important location in GTA San Andreas. On your way there, you can see characters on bikes that look like CJ, Big Smoke, and Sweet. You're just a liability, CJ! Off of the interstate near the northwestern point of the map, you'll find a famous scene from the movie No Country for Old Men Reenacted. You'll even get some free cash for your troubles. Now, you are a dead man! There is a machine that can be found at some construction sites that has the exact same paint scheme as Claptrap from Borderlands. I can't believe this shit. At a suburban clothing store, you can purchase a goofy-looking Hawaiian shirt. If you also give Michael the free wood haircut, add a full beard, and throw on a pair of Rimmer's steel aviators, he closely resembles Max Payne from Max Payne 3. An assassin must have come in and executed your brother. Cool, I'm oh, heading over now. You can visit a location that's an obvious nod to the Playboy Mansion, complete with a grotto and topless girls. I can't wait to go home and exfoliate. Every day from 7 to 8 p.m., a Thelma and Louise reenactment takes place on a cliff at the southwest corner of Mount Chiliad. We don't think they survived the end of that movie. In GTA Online, one of your parents can be John Marsden, a popular character from another Rockstar game, Red Dead Redemption. In the ocean, you can find what many believe to be the hatch from Lost. Yeah. A jacket can be purchased at a discount store near Trevor's Landing Strip that is a nod to the one worn by the protagonist in the movie Drive. There is a very obvious Halo parody at the Oriental Movie Theater where you can see a street performer dressed as Master Chief. Republican Space Rangers! Kill first! Kill Stick it on the internet later! Posters and records from Mad Dog and OG Loke Records can be found in Franklin's House on the Hill. This is another nod to characters from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Floyd's apartment has the same layout as Melanie's apartment in Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown. Lester's house has a lot of pop culture nods such as statues resembling Master Chief, an anime spoof figure called Princess Robot Bubblegum, and a poster that seems to be a nod to the popular X-Files poster. During the prologue mission, you can drive your vehicle under the bridge and see an alien frozen in the ice. Speaking of aliens, you can find a UFO underwater near the northernmost point of the map. There's three additional UFOs that can be seen after 100% completion of the game. The first can be seen near Sandy Shores. Where are you, assholes, Hawk? The second UFO can be seen above Fort Zancudo. And the third can be seen above Mount Chiliad, but only during a thunderstorm. Franklin boosts some cars in the game for a story mission. At one point, you bring a vehicle to the garage that has a black light list on the wall of the remaining vehicles. These are all nods to the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. Brucey e. Kibitz, a character from Grand Theft Auto 4, has a website where he sells performance enhancing drugs. He also makes appearances in the online portion of the game. Hey, what's up? In the middle of the wilderness, you will find a tap dancing hillbilly, which is a reference to the real world tap dancing hillbilly, Jesco White. There's graffiti from the Mystery 8 Killer all over the world of Grand Theft Auto 5. Each clue leads to another until you find one final message in the prison at cell block 9A that tells where he hid the bodies. You can even find them if you go to the location and swim underwater. If you look near the first clue, you'll find a newspaper clipping that says the killer died in prison. Franklin's bookshelf has a book on it called Red Dead by Jay Marston. This is another nod to Red Dead Redemption and the game's main character, John Marsden. 
A random face can be found in the mountains. Some people think that it's Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad, but we think it's more likely one of the developers of the game. The mask that you can purchase at Vespucci Beach is said to resemble the Manhunt Mask, another popular Rockstar title. One of the random transitions you get when switching to Trevor shows him following someone on a scooter and shouting Scooter Brothers. This is a reference to a popular YouTube video made by fans of Grand Theft Auto 4. At one point in the story, you can see Jimmy looking at Nico Bellic's profile on Life Invader. Nico is the protagonist from Grand Theft Auto 4. His cousin is listed as one of his friends. The ghost of Lenora Johnson can be seen around 11 p.m. on the top of Mount Gorda. Moving closer to her location will reveal the word Jack and cause her to disappear. Jack was the name of one of her suspected killers as outlined on the website whokilledlenorajohnson.com. This could be a reference to the real-world belief that actress Peg Entwistle haunts Mount Lee in Los Angeles. We're guessing there's more where that came from, but so far that's 29 secrets and easter eggs we found in Grand Theft Auto V. For more on Grand Theft Auto V, you know where to keep it locked. IGN. My boss is gonna kill me! Move!